we're so going to run through some Pilates. Remember, I'll teach at all levels, so you work where you feel comfortable. The options will be there, okay? So don't struggle. Try a higher level by all means, but if it doesn't work for you, just go back down a level, okay? It's all about listening to your body and making sure you work within your own range, okay? So remember, if you have got knee problems, back problems, anything like that, do what's comfortable. I will give you some adaptions along the way, um, and that's it, okay? Otherwise, just work where you feel comfortable. We'll get you set up in your correct position, talk about our neutral spine and our core muscles, and then we will work our way down to the floor and we'll stay there for about 25 minutes, run for our exercises, and then you're all done, okay? So nice and upright. Make sure you've got an even distribution of body weight across both of your feet. So gently rock forwards, backwards, side to side. Make sure you've got that even distribution of weight, holding it still, and finding your neutral spine. So you're tilting your pelvis forwards and backwards, finding the position where your back feels the most comfortable. Holding that in place, that is your neutral spine, okay? Natural orthotic curve. Finding and engaging your core muscles. So I want you to imagine your pelvic floor, the muscle you would use to stop mid flow, okay? So that muscle, imagine it's attached to a lift, and I want you to pull it all the way up from within to floor number 10. So it's as high as it'll go, it'll be uncomfortable and you won't be able to maintain it for long. So you're going to take it down to floor number five, down to floor number three, and that's where you're going to leave it. So you've done 100%, 50%, and now we're at a 30% engagement. Then imagine you've got a belt around your middle. Okay, so we're going to draw that belt in as tight as we can to notch number tight. 10, again, it's uncomfortable, our breathing is disturbed. So we're going to take it out to notch five, out to notch three, and we leave it there. So we've got some mild tension around the centre of the body, but hopefully you'll be able to maintain it and work with it. Now, because you're holding from the core, you will need to breathe from your rib cage, lateral thoracic breathing, okay? So hands on the ribs, fingertips touch, take a deep breath in, fingertips naturally part, and release. Deep breath in, and release. Good, relax the arms down. Just give me a little piddle through from your feet, one side to the other, raising up an alternating heel. And at the same time, just allow your shoulders to rotate in one direction and the other direction. Place the feet down, lift all the way up onto the toes and release. Lift all the way up onto the toes and release. Good. Making sure the body stays central, step out and reach. Then come back to your middle point and then go the other way. So we're just lateral flexion, we're just lengthening through the side of the body and through the spine, just a little bit of mobility before we hit those exercises. One more to each side, please. Nice and steady. And then coming into the middle, one arm is going forwards, one arm is going backwards. And I want you to follow your back arm with your head but I want you to keep your hips still. I don't want you to rotate through the hip. I want you to move through your spine. Good. And then release, relax those arms down. Stand towards the back of your mat and towel whatever you've got to lay on. Lengthen, neutral spine breathing. Just chin to the chest. Breathe out, slowly begin to roll down through your back. Soften your knees. Allow your arms to hang relax. Then when you're ready, Carefully begin the process of rolling back up. Rebuild the spine vertebrae by vertebrae. Relax the shoulders down. Breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, gently roll down through the back. Softening off your knees. Allow your arms to hang and relax. And then when you're ready, bring yourself back up. Now when you reach the top, you're resetting. And we're rolling down this time to come down to stay down. So chin in, breathe out, roll down. At your lowest point, I want you to walk your hands forward, but keep your feet on the floor so you're in a downward dog. Head between the arms, breathe in, bring the knees down just above the floor, then breathe out and push them back. Breathe in, bring the knees down, breathe out, push them back. 
Now, if you suffer with any kind of um, blood pressure issues, avoid the downward dog. Having your head down may make you feel a little bit dizzy. So you're coming to a cat stretch. Breathe in to round your spine. Breathe out to release. Good. Breathe in, knees come down if you're in your downward dog. Breathe out, go back to your start position. So whichever one you're doing, I'm gonna ask you for two more, please. And once you've completed those two, you're gonna come all the way into your leg pull. So forearms and elbows, look down between those wrists, draw up through the belly button. So we've engaged our core. Belly button should feel like it's being pulled up towards the ceiling. Level one, knees down. Level two, knees up and hold. I don't want to see bums in the air. Nice flat back. If you want to go further, you can come all the way up. Make sure your weight isn't pushed too far forward or too far back. You've got to make sure your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder are all in line and you're drawing up through the core. These are your options, okay? So stick with the one where you can work the most effectively. Engaging the core, breathing deep, full breaths. And I'm gonna ask you please, for up to three more breaths. Once you've completed those three, you're gonna come all the way down onto your front, Fully extending the arms out, fully extending the legs out, okay? Now, when you actually do this, your head is down, forehead down, okay? So you're not cranking your neck at all. So you're gonna point your fingers, point your toes, you're gonna take a breath in, you're gonna have your belly button off the floor, and as you breathe out, one arm and the opposite leg lift up. You breathe in to lower, Breathe out to change sides. Breathe in to lower, breathe out to lift. Now if you do wear glasses or you feel a little bit claustrophobic, you can have your head raised slightly, but I don't want you cranking your neck, okay? Fingers and toes pulled away, lengthen through the body. Try not to squeeze from the glutes, from the bottom. And try and make sure those core muscles are drawn in and up. So belly button is up off the floor. Breathe out as you lift, in as you release. Now we're not rushing the movement. We're allowing our breathing to dictate the pace of our movements, okay? Breathing out as you lift, in as you lower. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in. Keeping the arm and leg as straight as you can. Now don't try and lift too high because your leg will end up bending, okay? Breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you release. Breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you release. Core muscles zipped up, pull in, drawing up through the middle of the body. So in your swimming, sometimes this is done on all fours, we're doing it laying it down today. When you've done two more on each side, so four more breaths in total, then I'd like you to return back to your leg pull position. So in your leg pull, remember, knees down, level one, knees up, level two, up on those hands at level three. You've got to draw up through the belly button, head and neck in line with the spine. Everything is in place. Draw up, pull in. Tighten the belt, draw up the lift, yes? And breathe, don't hold your breath. Full, deep breaths, maintaining the position. And I'm gonna ask you please, Three more breaths, and if you begin to shake or wobble, just take a rest, just a silent muscle fatigue. 
When you've done your three, you're going to gently lower all the way down. We're going to turn onto one side. We will do both sides, so pick a side. We're going to start propped up on the elbow. Now make sure the elbow and shoulder are in line with each other and the arm is length that is pointing forward, okay, it's not out to the side. Also make sure the arm isn't too far away, okay, so elbow under the shoulder, draw up your rib cage. Now, for those of you who want your basic level, your level one, you're drawing up through the ribs and you're staying here but you're breathing deep, full breaths. You're not doing nothing, you are working the obliques already. If you want to go further, hand is there for balance, take it away, if not, breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the hip, breathe in and lower. Breathe out and lift, breathe in and lower. And keep the chest open, don't roll the chest over, okay? There is an exercise we do where we do do that, but it's not today, just your side bend. Now you can raise your arm with that if you want to, to make it harder. So without the arm, we'll say that's your level two. With your arm is your level three. If you want to go further, we're lengthening out the legs. Breathe out as you lift, in as you release. Any problems? Hold the position and breathe. And in your side bend, I just need one more breath, please. And then you can lower all the way down. Now your head is going to rest on your arm. That arm needs to be in line with the body. I've got a computer in the way, okay? So mine's slightly out of line. You're resting the head down on that arm. Our top leg is straight. Our bottom leg is tucked under. Now I'd like you to point the toes forwards so the sole of your foot is now facing the side of the, of the room, okay? Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the top leg. Toes point forward. Breathe in. As you breathe out, I want you to circle that leg five times. And then breathe in and hold and then breathe out and circle the other way, five times. Breathe in and hold, breathe out and circle. So your breathing is full and deep, which means you can get as many rotations as you can from one single breath out. Five is your aim, we go one way, we hold, and then we go the other way. Now this hand is there for your balance. If you don't need it, we're taking it away. You could even take it all the way over. Remember, toes forward, full deep breath in, and then breathe out to circle the leg away. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in. One leg circle, so we're looking at strength and mobility through the hip, but also still through the core, the lumbar spine, and the obliques because we still have to have our posture in place. So you're going to do one more in each direction please. Then you can allow that leg to lower and by all means give it a little rub and then you are going to push yourself to sit. Now we're going to come into a reverse leg pull, okay? Now this predominantly works the backs of your arms through your triceps. If you have problems with your wrists, then don't try and lift up, okay? We're going to bring our hands back, try and have your fingers pointing to the bottom if possible, and just tuck the arms in so they're as close as possible. Legs are bent, take a breath in, as you breathe out, lift up, breathe and hold. Don't drop the head, head and neck in line with the spine. Now, if you have got those wrist issues, okay, you're gonna stay with your bottom down and you're just gonna push back and hold and keep breathing, okay? So you can just hold this position or you're coming up. And then if you're going further, legs lengthen, don't drop 
rock the pelvis, 45 degrees. If you want to then go further, breathe out, lift one leg, breathe in as it lowers, alternating through the legs. Try and make sure you've got that bottom raised as far as comfortable for you. And guys, slow down your breathing. I know, I know all the little cheats. I'm going to ask you please for two more breaths in whichever level you're doing. And then bring your legs back to bed if they're straight. And then carefully allow yourself to lower. Give those shoulders a little roll one way and the other if you need to. And then I'm going to ask you to come all the way down onto your back, keeping your legs bent and your feet down. Now your shoulders are down and relaxed. Make sure, neutral spine, your core muscles are engaged. So we're drawing up, we're drawing in, and we're making sure to still touch our fingers together under the small of the back, okay? Feet and knees are hips distance apart. Breathe in as you breathe out. One leg comes up, make sure you can reach your knee. If you can't reach it, it's too far away, okay? If you can reach it but your arm is very bent, it's too close. Right angle, knee above the hip, ankle in line with the knee, don't drop the heel. Now all we're doing is breathing, deep full breaths from the ribs, and holding. Strengthen through the core. Now if you want to go further, breathe in. As you breathe out, you can lengthen, and hold it still. The leg is extended, but your knees are in line with each other, okay? Deep, full breaths. You wanna go further, bring up the upper body, chin off the chest, arms are raised, palms face down, breathe in. As you breathe out, pulse, push the hands down. Keep going for me, you breathe in, you hold, you breathe out, you pulse. Now I want you to imagine you've got a spirit level across your hips, okay? Bubble of air, central and still. If you want to go all the way, bring the other leg up into a right angle and continue to work. So this is your highest option. Both legs lifted, one bend, one straight, pulse or no pulse, okay? Your next level leg is extended, just that one leg is raised, with the pulse, take the pulse away, bringing it back to base level, it's here, just hold it. And you're all gonna just take two more deep, full breaths, then you're gonna allow the leg to lower. If you've got both legs raised, one leg at a time comes down, please. Make sure the upper body lowers first. When you're ready, breathe in. As you breathe out, the other leg comes up into that right angle position. Knee above the hip, ankle in line with the knee, spirit level across the hips. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, if you want to extend it, you can. Remember, you don't have to extend it. The pulse is there. You could keep it bent and still have the pulse. Up to you. Core muscles in place, so we're tightening, we're drawing in, but neutral spine is still there. And if you're going all the way, the other leg comes up, right angle in the knee, deep full breath in, as you breathe out, pulse down. Now try not to have a big pull on the body, okay? Remember you can just have one leg raised. You can just keep that leg bent, and you can just have the leg on its own. So continue to breathe and work at your level. And the thing with Pilates is, you always have to listen to what the body says. Because if you did Pilates yesterday, for example, and you were doing all the higher levels, it doesn't necessarily mean that today you'd be able to do them again. Your body may be more tired. Okay, those muscles may be tired from what they did yesterday. So it might not be ready to go to that level. Because if you're not breathing correctly, if you're not holding the core, you're not keeping your neutral spine, then 
everything you're doing is not working to your full potential, okay? You're working, but it's not as effective. So in your hundred, I'm gonna ask you please, for two more breaths, if you've got both legs lifted, one foot comes down at a time, make sure the upper body comes down, we end up with both feet on the floor where we started, then when you're ready, breathe in. As you breathe out, you're bringing that first leg up again, right angle. You're gonna breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna lengthen that leg out as far as it will go. Point the toes away. Don't drop it, don't let it touch the floor. Then breathe in and bring that leg all the way back in, okay? So you're breathing out to extend the leg away. You're breathing in to draw it back in. And this other leg is remaining nice and still. Imagine there's a cup of tea on that knee, don't spill it, okay? So you can do just the leg. If you want to work harder, you can have the other leg raised, but we're not going to move it, we're going to keep it still. And then if you want to go further still, bring up the upper body, whole breath out to lengthen and in to extend. Working through the core, full deep breath out to lengthen and in to return. Make sure those legs don't come together. You can of course keep one foot down, breathe out to lengthen and in to return. So one leg stretch, lengthening through the body without moving that other leg. I'm going to ask you please, for two more breaths, please do feel free to rest before that if you need to. And once you've completed those two, you're going to keep that leg in place, you're going to tighten through the core, deep full breath in, allow the leg to lower, and then breathe out to lift the other leg. Right angle, you have to have that good start position and your leg always comes back to here. Breathe in, as you breathe out, lengthen, extend. As you breathe in, return. Breathe out, lengthen, extend. Breathe in to return. Hips nice and still. Lengthening the leg only as far as it will comfortably go and then drawing it all the way back in. If you want to go further, you've got the other leg raised, but don't drop the heel. And then upper body, that's your next option. Breathing out to lengthen and in to return. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in. Breathe out to lengthen and in to return. Remember, you don't have to have that leg lifted. Strengthen through the core. Breathe out to lengthen. Don't let it touch down. Don't let the other leg wobble. Breathe in to return. And I'm going to ask you in your one leg stretch, at your level, for two more breaths please. And once you've completed those two, you can allow the feet to come down one at a time if you've got both lifted. And please feel free just to give yourself a nice long body stretch. Point the fingers, point the toes. And then when you are ready, you're going to turn onto your other side. We start in a side bend, okay? Elbow, shoulder. Hoist up your rib cage. Open your chest. Look straight ahead. Don't hang the head. Don't crack the neck, okay? So we're drawing up the rib cage and we're staying here if level one is enough, okay? No problem. Hold and breathe. Hand is there if you want it there for balance. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift up the hip. You can take the hand away. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out, lift up the hip. Breathe in to lower. Remember, you're lifting upwards. 
not over. Okay? Breathe out as you lift, in as you release. You could add the arm. As you lower, don't just drop down. And then if you want to go further, legs come out nice and straight, with or without the arm. Keep going for me, I just need to wet my mouth. Deep, full breaths, core muscles in place. And I'm going to ask you for one more, please. Then you're going to gently allow yourself to lower down and lengthen out. So head is resting down on your arm. That arm is out straight. This hand is here for your balance. Bend your bottom leg, tuck it under. Top leg is straight. Point your toes forwards, okay? Sole of the foot faces the side wall. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the top leg only. Breathe in. As you breathe out, rotate small circles. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out and circle. Now you're aiming for five circles from one single breath out. So that means that your breathing has to be full and deep. Breathe out to circle, breathe in to hold. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in and in place. Mobility of the hip. They haven't got to be big circles, small and as many as you can from one breath. So in your side leg, your hip circle, I'm going to ask you please for one more in each direction. Once you finish those two breaths, you can allow that leg to carefully lower. And by all means, give that hip a little bit of a rub if you need to. From there, I'm going to ask you please to turn yourselves around into box position. Nice flat neutral spine, core muscles pulled in. You've got that gap between the thighs. From here, curl your toes under. Push yourself back into a crouch position. We're going to make our way to stand. If you need to hold on to something while you do that, or if you need to stand in a different way, then please feel comfortable to do that for me. Otherwise, from a crouch position, tuck the chin into the chest, breathe in, place your feet flat, and then slowly begin the journey, rolling up through the back, rebuilding the spine vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the top, allowing the head, the neck to raise last, relaxing the shoulders down. Make sure that you are balanced, you've got that even distribution of body weight, you're not lopsided, you're not slumped, you are lengthened with good posture and your core muscles engaged. Just lift up onto the toes, are you balanced? And release, good. Lift up onto the toes, balance, and release. So one last time, you're gonna lift up on the toes, you're gonna balance, close your eyes if you can, just test your balance, and release. Well done. So there's your Pilates. Please feel free to work at the level that suits you, and we will see you again. Take care.